Well, um, when I was 17, um, I went to the gate. Of course, during um, Christmas time, Elvis always came home, and you know everybody would go out to the gate to get a glimpse of him. So I decided this year I'm going to see him. So we got to talking, and um, Harold Lloyd, which is Elvis's cousin, um, told me we were just standing there talking. He said, "Come back tonight, and I'll guarantee you get to see Elvis." And so I thought, well, at midnight is when he wanted me to come back. And being 17, and my mother was very strict about me being out late, I didn't think I'd make it, but I did get my brother to bring me back. And we came back, and sure enough, we were out there, and Elvis called down and said he was fixing to go to the uh, Memphian Theater. So all these people, it was like 25 people around there that was there all the time, apparently. Uh, they they all got in their cars and headed to uh, the Memphian Theater, and so Harold told me, he says, get in your car and go out there. We had met a, a couple there, Judy and Travis, and they said, just tell them that you're with, the, with us and you'll get in. So we go to the Memphian, and we're standing out in front, and they open the door, and all these people go in, and when we get to the door, they shut the door. So my brother and my girlfriend were ready to just leave, you know, look, they don't want to, they're not allowed to see in. So I said, well... I'm going to knock because they said to tell them that we're with them. So I said, um, I knocked on the door and they opened it up. I believe it was Charlie Hodge that opened the door and he said, um, it's closed. You, you can't come in. And I said, we're with Judy and Travis. So they called Judy and Travis. So they let us in and tried to make this long story short. While we were standing in the lobby in walked Elvis and my legs just went to jelly. <laughs> and that was the first time I ever met him.